This week for Mrs. DiRosario, this is what you need to do for math. math. Watch the screen. I'm going to get my screen set up so it's easy um, to see everything, easy to type into everything, and easy to use. Okay. So you have three assignments right here and a video. Okay. Step one, we're going to open up the video in a new window. So I right click on my link, click open link in new window. It's going to open in a new window right here. Now I'm going to grab the top of it with my mouse. Last week we focused up. I'm going to grab the top of my video right here, my video window. Okay, and now I have the video. I'm going to drag it over to the side and pop it like that so that it makes it half of the screen. Now it asks me, what does my other half want to be? Well, I want it to be Teams. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the calculator in a new tab. So click on your calculator, right click on this link, open a new tab. So now I have two tabs. I have my Teams tab, and then I have the Calculator tab. So now I'm going to go back to my posts in general. Okay? And I'm going to open up the assignment that says Estimating Roots Notes to Go with the Video Lesson. So I'm going to view that assignment. All right. Under My Work right here, it just says Estimating Roots. It's a OneNote file. I'm going to click that. And it's going to open. Okay. So right now on my screen, I have my notes here. I have my calculator here if I need it. I'm going to have to switch back between those two things if I have to use the calculator. Okay. Now I'm going to watch the video. And as I watch the video, you'll notice here that what Mrs. DiRosario is doing on the video is the same thing that's over here. In order to use uh, OneNote, you go up here to the draw and you can grab um, the pen and grab a color and fill in right along with her. Now, if your screen is touch screen, you can use touch screen and use your finger to, to write the numbers. If not, you gotta use the mouse to do it. It might not be perfect, um, but it's possible, okay? If you don't like that, you can also click right here to type text, okay? But when you do the text, you gotta do it in the white space. You'll see right here that I kind of have this this line here. I got to click outside of it. Let's see if I can even get it. Click outside of it, maybe up here. No. Nope. nope. If I kind of click right here, not on the title here, but a little bit lower, I can get a little box to pop up sometimes. All right. There. So if I can get one of those box, I could type my number right in it and then drag that box right where it needs to be. If I need to erase some of my ink, I can erase my ink. And you can see now that my number four is, is there. Um, might be easier just to try to do the inking with the, the pen. Um, so I'm gonna erase that there. Now this automatically saves. So you can go right through the notes, right along with Mrs. DiRosario as she's doing uh, the video. Okay. Now you'll notice uh, this video has some little checks in it. This is a new thing. So when you get to the check, let's kind of watch this right now here. She's talking. 100, 10, 225 is 15, and 196 is 14. So that's what we did last week. We talked about our perfect squares and our Okay. And now when we get to that point in the video, a form pops up right inside the video. So we'll let it load. And once the form loads, you're just going to answer these questions. Okay. If you need to use your calculator, remember over here we have our notes that you can look back at your notes that you've been doing. Okay. And you can click up here to this tab and you got your, your calculator here to use that if you need to. Okay. Once you answer these questions, now I'm just clicking random things. I don't know if those are right or not. Don't don't copy those. Okay. I'm going to click submit down here, and I'm going to let it load. It might take a second here. Okay. And then when it says, thanks, your response was submitted, you're good to go. All right. Continue to video. And now we're going to keep watching the video. Okay. When you get over here, same thing's going to happen again. Just look at the one that's above and below where it would fit in that number. 
boom, the form pops up. You answer the questions, click submit at the bottom. So here's your two little questions. You're gonna answer those two questions, click submit, then click continue to video. So again, don't copy my answers. I'm not reading these problems. Just clicking random things. Okay, click that button, click submit, let it load. Okay. And then continue to video, watch the rest of the video and just keep filling in the notes over here. Once you're done with your notes, click and the video, cause it'll be at the same time, click close. Okay. And click the purple turn in button. Okay. Over here, we can just close out the video. Okay. So there's your first thing. Now I'm going to make this window big, big here again. All right. So we've turned this in. Now we come back here okay, and we have uh, this estimating square roots right here. There's two Word documents. So we're going to open these Word documents and you're going to do these. Remember, when we get a Word document, we got to click edit document, edit and browser. It will allow us to either type into our document or use the inking feature. So once it all loads in there. Um, I can type my answers there, or if I want to, I can, here's my draw tab. I don't see the draw tab. Maybe the draw tab's not in this. All right. So you just got to type it maybe off to the side or right in the, right in the box there, right after that's probably good enough. Just just type your answers right in there and click close. Okay. And then do the other one. Now, again, if you need your calculator, it's right here. Okay. So you can just click between the two tabs. Square root of eight is between what two? Use the calculator if you need to. Okay. Remember, we open this one. We got to edit, edit in browser, edit document, edit in browser, enable in order to be able to type into these boxes. Okay. When you're done, click close, click the turn in button. Okay. The last thing you have to do is the form. It's up here. Ignore that this says past due. This is on a practice assignment. All right. We got a form here. Again, you have your calculator, you have your form. So click on the form. and answer these questions. Use the calculator if you need it. You already have it open on that new tab. All right, and when you're done, you just click the submit button at the bottom, click close, and that's all you have to do for the form. There's no turn in button when you're submitting a form. So that's what you need to do for math this week.